Hello guys, welcome back. Let's go through Lang Smith also in this video. In the earlier videos, I have created Lang Smith in Lang Chain as well as Lang Smith in Flowwise, right? It's similar to Flowwise, there is also a tool called Lang Flow. So in this video, we will be seeing how we can track the traces of the Lang Flow into the Lang Smith. So at the end of the video, you will be seeing some traces similar to what we did in our earlier video in Langsmith Flowwise. And I will be going through GitHub code space step by step. So you will know from the start to end how you can use Langflow in GitHub code space and have the traces in Langsmith. Let's get started. In the playlist of Langchain, I have already covered the videos related to Langflow. There are two different videos. First one is just the introduction to Langflow. And the next one, if you scroll a little bit down, there is the Langflow and I have explained how you can load the JSON files as well as how you can deploy Langflow into the Jina AI cloud, right? If you want to go in depth details, please go to the documentation and also into the GitHub page where they have explained all the different things, right? But now let's go through how to do this in GitHub code space. First, you need to go to GitHub code space. I have already experimented one, as you can see here, it's Langflow Langsmith, but we will be going through the blank template in this video. If you just use this template, if you use this, it is going to open, meaning that the GitHub code space is setting up and you should see something similar to this. This is just a VS code running inside the GitHub code space somewhere in the cloud in some containers. That is how it works. The good part of this is you don't even need to set up all the environments. And now they have also implemented different modes, as you can see here, light mode. This is light, high contrast if you want this dark mode or there is this dark, high contrast. I want to go with this dark mode. You can just cancel this now. So yeah, as you can see here, it's all the things are now ready. We can just start coding. As of now, it's completely empty because we started the empty blank template, right? What I can do, let me clear this screen. First thing first, check the Python version, right? So we can run Python 3 dash dash version. So it is 3.10.8. Now what we can do is go and install virtual environment and then install Langflow inside it, right? I face some issue when using virtual ENV Python package or using Python's VENV to create the virtual environment and installing Langflow. What I recommend you to do is use the Conda for that. First, make sure you have Conda installed, right? But if you work in GitHub code space as me, then there is already the Conda being installed. So if I run this, there is Conda 23.7.2, right? What we can do is create a .vnv using Python 3.11 and it is going to activate the virtual environment. Let us run this first. It is installing the virtual environment and then it will be activated. As you can see here, once it is activated, you will see .env in front of the terminal, right? So that's all. Now what we can do is just install the Langflow, pip install Langflow, right? It will take some time to install the Langflow. As you can see here, we are on a blank uh, space. There is no folders and nothing, right? We are just installing a Langflow. Once this is installed, we will run Langflow UI and see what we can do. And then I will show you how you can trace in Langsmith. It will take some time. I will get back to you once it is installed. As you can see on the screen, it installed all the necessary packages, right? What I can do now is clear the screen. If you go to the GitHub, it just says how to run the Langflow, right? We can just use Python-M Langflow or just the Langflow, right? Now what I will do is go to the code space and then just run Langflow. So if we run this, it should open the UI in the in the browser itself. So let's see if it opens or not. It is going to take some time just to load all the different things. And now it says here, okay, welcome to Langflow. I can open this, right? So I can, maybe let's go this, open in browser, right? So it is going to open in browser. So yeah, this is how it works. And if you want to know in depth the details how it works, please refer to my videos that I have created before related to Langflow. But here, yeah, this is all the things you want. 
but I will just show you one simple example in this video. Just go to this community examples and here you will see all the different templates or examples that are being provided by the community. I will just show you one basic chart example and how to trace that into the Langsmith because that is the main goal of this video. I will just click this fork example, right? When I do this, now it is forked into my project, right? Now what I can do is go to, by the way, you can use, I am using chat open AI, but you can use other different things as mentioned in the menu right here, right? But what I'm going to do is just use chat open AI. For this, I need open AI API key, right? For that, I need to go to the place here. I will create new. Okay, it is being created. I'm showing you this because I'm going to revoke this anyway. So now I will go to the lang flow. Where is it? Not this one, this one, right? So here it says maximum number of tokens. You can just provide anything. I'm going to use 500 to build just for example. And I'm going to use the GPT 3.5 Torbo. You can choose any models from here, right? And what I'm going to do is 3.5 Torbo baseline. You don't need to provide this. You can just provide the API key and temperature. You can just modify this. Once this is done, you need to click this icon here. If you click this, it's it will turn into green, as you can see here, both of these. And now there is this chat icon just appeared here. If you click this chat, it says blank flow chat, right? So here I can just say hello and it will provide us hello. How can I assist you? I can say here what is Google. It is going to provide what is Google. But this is just without Lang Smith, right? Now, if you go to the Lang Smith, it is not being provided because we haven't linked this project into the language smith right what we can do now is go here and create a new project i will give it a name called lang flow test just example and then i will click this summit so it will provide us let me take this here it will provide us okay pip install langchain all the different things we don't need any of these things what we can do is just copy this part of the code now go back to uh where is it not yeah here but we need to go to the code space because this is the ui and this is the code space and here what you need to do is i can now even stop this control c it is being stopped now what you can do is go here and create dot env file right i can just touch right dot env and it is going to create dot env file here and i'm going to paste the thing that i just copied from there but now you need to remove this export from here i will remove this export because export is just one where you want to paste in the terminal right but everything is all done now except the part the api key we need to have the api key from the language smith for that what you can do is go to this key icon and create a new api key copy i'm showing you again this because i'm going to revoke this anyway and go back to dot env and replace this api key here with the api key that we just copied i will save this now it is saved now how to how to use this environment variables into the lang flow right for that what you can do lang lang flow actually has the cli part if you just go to the website or the github it says here command line interface right you can just have lang flow and the options all the different things are being provided and as you can see here there is dash dash env file which says it specifies the path of the .env file containing the environment variables, the default is .env, right? So what we can do is dash dash env file, right? I will go to the GitHub code space. I will run lang flow dash dash env dash file and the path to the .env, but it is in the same directory. So I will just run .env. So when I run this particular thing, we have the same basic chat. I will go to the chat now, edit flow. And as you can see here, we need to provide the API key again. What I can do is go to the API here, copy this and paste the API keys. And then I will save this, right? I need to save this. This is the one that I save. It turns into green. 
and then I can have a chat, right? What I can ask here is what is Twitter, let's say. It is going to say Twitter is this, 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 right? But now the trace of this must be shown in the Langsmith, right? That is what we want to achieve. Now, if I go to the Langsmith and I go back, I go to the projects here and there is this Langflow test. And if I go to the traces, now, as you can see here, there is the trace that is being provided for us. Here is the trace. We are using the conversational chain and chat open AI. And the question is, what is Twitter? And the answer is here, right? It is so fast that if I go now again to here, and if I just ask here, what is Google, for example, again, and then I can say, explain in two sentences only it is going to explain me about google in two sentences and now if i go back here and if i go to the langflow test it is already being recorded here so as you can see i said what is google right and it took 2.268 seconds and the first one took 4.52 seconds and how many tokens are there you can just click on this one and you can see okay 179 prompt tokens is being utilized and this is the question as you can see here and this is the output for more details about language smith please refer to my first video where i have explained all the details of the ui and all the different things but yeah that is how you can now have the traces of your lang flow project into lang smith i covered what is lang smith and then lang smith with flow wise and now with lang flow i hope you are clear in using the different projects that is run on top of Langsmith and also on top of Langchain. Okay, so as I did before, if you want to cancel this now, you can go to the GitHub code space. By the way, all the logs are also being printed in the CLI itself. I can just type Control C on the keyboard and it is going to be cancelled, right? So yeah, that is what I want to show you in this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and. See you in the next video.